How I try written down the words to say it is time I've been waiting. What's up my beauties? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how's everybody doing? So, sorry, my hair is a mess today, you guys. I am so sorry. I just brushed it in, came and did my intro. Anyways, <laughs> so, let me tell you what I decided to do for this video today. I decided, hey, I went to Target yesterday, and I haven't tried a few products I was supposed to review. So, let's just review it now. So, let me tell you how it went down in Target, though. So, the first thing... I went and I'm like, oh my god, there's a line. Never, 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 never in my life have I seen a line at Target. That was very, very shocking to me. So after that happened, I finally got through the store, but then they had this big old lecture on, if you have online orders, please come see me, and you need to get the clean carts because they are clean. And I'm like, whoa, okay. So I've never seen anything like that before in my life. And on the signs, it says two items per customer, one item per customer, which is pretty good that they do that because people these days are just, what's the word I'm looking for? Greedy and wanting just to have everything to themselves and stock up. So I'm glad that they did that. But it was just a really weird experience for me actually going to Target and doing that because I've never, ever in my life seen anything like that anything at all it was very um bizarre to me but I decided okay I ran out of concealer so I need to get food and items I ran out of so I ran out of concealer you know I was running really low on it so I decided why not I'll just buy some concealer so there's one that I decided to get because I got the foundation that was a little darker for me so it looks really light on camera but trust me it looks better in person so this foundation that I got and I already used it so this is the one I'm not reviewing today but it's called NYX can't stop won't stop foundation and the color is bit buff b-u-f-f -F. so I have like this foundation and that's what I said again I said hmm okay well since I'm getting that foundation I might as well get the can't stop won't stop concealer from NYX as well. So I'm going to do some of my main face NYX products today. So this is the final look that I came up with with the, my review. And also my old co-worker and a dear friend of mine, Monica, gets ipsy. So she's like, well, I have these couple of things if you want to review it. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll review it. So this is the eyeshadow code Moods, M-O-D-D-S, and it's just a brown, dark brown eyeshadow. Then we have, it's called What's the Tea, and this is the color. And those are the items that I'm going to be reviewing today, and that is my adventure at Target, and that is my adventure or getting the items that I needed. I didn't need to obviously get the eyeshadows, but the concealer and the foundation I was low on, so I didn't need to get those, and I just got some food. So it was quite an adventure, and it's always been an adventure lately since this whole fiasco happened. Um, been an adventure always to go to the store, just to go anywhere in general, because you just got to be careful. So I hope everybody's staying safe out there. I am praying for all of you. And I'm praying for the people who have been affected with this virus and this whole epidemic. I'm praying that we will all get back to our, you know, to somewhat of the norm. I don't think it's going to be completely normal, but somewhat to a norm. So, again, don't forget to add me on Facebook. Don't forget to add me on Instagram. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat. Don't forget to add me on Twitter because I got a Twitter now. 
And also, I have a TikTok now, so don't forget to add me on that. I believe I linked my YouTube channel on TikTok as well. So I will link all that below and also all the products I used. I will link that all below. So if you want to know how I did this look, then keep on watching. And let's just get on with the tutorial. For my primer, I went with the Florence Primer by Miley. To prime my eyes, I went with the Barry M's Concealer Color Oatmeal. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mask? It's a real adventure. So for the foundation, I went with the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Foundation in the color buff BUFF. We never can get high enough. Nothing here to hold me up. It's pretty cool to fall in love. It's kind of like a fall from space. To call a fall from grace But I'm not gonna fall today When you're up You think you'll never go down Never go down Ooh. Once you're down You think you'll never get up Never get up Ooh. When we love We think we'll never break up Never break up Ooh. But we break up foundation on. Now I can put some on this concealer, which is the one you guys have been waiting from for. So this is my review on this, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. This color is pale. Now I'm afraid this might be a little too light for me, but we're going to try it anyway. And I'm just going to, ooh, man, that's light. Woo! I think I did it too light of a concealer, but we'll see how this works out when I do it. Pretty blender. Mm. Coffee cups and cigarettes laying around the room. I don't mind a little mess, just want to stay with you, ooh, ooh, and we'll do anything that we want today. Won't be scared of falling down no more. Oh, oh. So take me away, some other place Don't wanna wait, oh my Indian summer Take me away, I ain't afraid Calling your name, oh my Indian summer Okay, so this is how I feel about this concealer. I thought it was going to be a little too light, but it did okay. Um, as I'm looking, I don't see major coverage to what I want, but I do see some. So let me go ahead and set this. For my setting powder, I use the N1X Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder in the color light. For 
for our regular powder, I went with the NYX powder and I went with the color Golden Door. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. For my brows, I went with my brow pencil by Barry M. It's called Brow Well in the color Dark Brown. To clean my brows, I'm going to go with the NYX foundation in the color Buff, B-U-F-F. Contouring with the one wild contour stick in the color Oaks on you. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble, but we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow, but it will still be there. No, they don't pick us up, instead, they knock us down, and that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. I To finish up the contour, I went with my Wet n Wild Correction Stick in the color Nude for Thought. The look on your face, the thrill of the chase. I could tell you thought you owned the place. The words that you said, the two steps ahead. Well, your way to play was widespread Take a chance, you said, with quite the charm And then you got me unharmed Bet you thought you'd screw me over, but you do no harm If you don't like For a bronzer, I used the Hula Benefit I went the NYX blush color cinnamon. We're so dysfunctional, but still inseparable. Yeah, we just never get it right. You're playing games with me, me and my sympathy, but not enough to say goodbye. For highlight, I went with the Jeffree Stars Ice Cold. For beginning of this look, I went with the first palette, ColourPop California Love. I'm from California. Got to show California love. Love California. Um, the first color I went in for transition is G Gnarly. And then the second color I went in was Gold Rush. I try to fix it. I try to picture someone else but you. 
But then you kissed me And now there's nothing else I wanna do Amazing friend slash old co-worker actually gets, I think it's called Ipsy, and I'm going to go ahead and review a couple of the eyeshadows that she had given me to review. So this one is called Moods, and this is by Laura Sanchez, and I'll open it up. So it looks like I don't care for that type of ordeal, but hey, that's... That's the packaging, and then this is just a brown tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put brown in here to kind of define it more. And I'll let you know what I think. Okay, as you can tell so far, it's blending pretty well. So let's move on. Taking off in five, taking pictures of the streets here to keep them in mind. Getting ready now. There's a reason why we got to. Believe in this town Watching every flying bullet They are filling up the air Couldn't catch us there now, could you? Watching every flying bullet We were bad to all of you If you only really knew Ooh, ooh, a girl's gotta do what a girl's Gotta do in the bus Yeah, it's all about us is called what's the tea and I don't know who this is from it says it was made in San Francisco which is not too far from me go figure uh, and it's by the Bl the Blum cosmetics I never heard of them but this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the color is gonna do so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my concealer and do like a little cut, half cut crease and go from there and see how this color is I call it 
vision of decisions Whirling in my heart And my vision a recession Has never been this hard I got wasted when I tasted The sweetness of your lips We're not ready, we're unsteady I'm stuck inside your way I'm going down, down, down like a waterfall You're keeping the smiles apart You got me down, down, down like a waterfall You know just how to restrain my Packing it in, but it is not as pigmented as I would like this. We're going to try to keep doing it until I get some pigmentation so it won't look like I have this concealer on. I'm going to go back into moods and do it the blending on that brown.
think it's paradoxical Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go See it clear in the shadows, I lit, I'm ready to go Take a bit this look at one at the morphine setting spray Okay, now that this is the final look, sorry I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to go ahead and give you my final thoughts on everything that I'm reviewing. I'll see you in a minute. So final thoughts. So I am sorry by the way that I took so long. My eyeliner was giving me issues so I had to keep going back and refixing <laughs> a little bit, but it's okay now I suppose. But anyway, so with this. NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. When I first put it on, it looked pretty dry on me. And when I put the setting powder on and when I mixed it with the NYX powder, it was okay. Uh, let's see here. It did do coverage. Do I feel like it was the best concealer? No, I think Makeup Revolutions Concealer, sorry, is a bit better concealer than this one but it's not bad for the price I thought also it was gonna be a little too light for me but no it worked out so I think that it's a decent concealer if you want a reasonable price then yeah go for it uh, it's pretty decent but I'm um, not my favorite I think make like I said I think makeup revolution is a bit better concealer and then we're gonna go on with the eyeshadows now first I went into moods by Laura Shan Chanchez and it's a decent it's so a standard, pretty good brown eyeshadow. It blended really well. And then we're going to go into What's the Tea color. And this is by the Blam Cosmetics. Okay. So at first, I thought that this wasn't going to work. It was taking a while to actually get on my you know my eyes I thought oh my gosh why is it working and then when I kept just putting it on a bit by bit it did work as you can tell this is a very light color and it blended so no 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 I thought it was a decent decent eyeshadow so not bad have I seen better eyeshadows from this yes I have I think there was other ones that were not as a pain to get some pigmentation in there but all in all it was pigmented it just took a minute to actually get it to go <laughs> but it did work so that's my thoughts final thoughts on those products that I did try for the first time and I hope you guys enjoy my review and I'll see you in the next one bye